Hello and welcome to Life Like You Mean It. Today we're going to talk about why positive affirmations may not be working for you. So it seems like every guru out there is talking about positive affirmations. And there is a reason. They are so powerful. But... When I take a look at a lot of the suggestions that gurus are having with positive affirmations, it seems like there's just a bit of a missing link here. There's a little gap that needs to be filled. And that is that not everybody understands that in order for an affirmation to work, you have to really be resonating at that energy frequency with what it is that you are saying. So, If you are feeling really low, you are feeling like you have no confidence, right? You are going to fail at everything. You are maybe even depressed and you've got to go and give a presentation at work and you've got yourself convinced that you're going to be fired if this presentation doesn't go well. So you put on this added bit of stress on top of it. For you to stand in a mirror and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am confident. I am going to do really well at this presentation. I am a brilliant speaker. That's not going to be enough. (laughs) What we want to do with a positive affirmation, ideally, is to look in that mirror, say with confidence, whatever it is that we are going to say as our affirmation, and take the time to allow ourselves to truly feel that. Now, in this moment, you may not feel confident. Absolutely not. Otherwise, why would you be using this affirmation? But there was a time in your life when you did feel confident. There was something. You know, maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was two decades ago. There was a time when you can remember feeling confident. You don't need to remember all of the situation and the experience itself. You just have to think back and just remember what it's like to feel confident. Now, confidence is a really interesting one because we hold ourselves much differently when we feel confident versus when we're not feeling very confident. You can see it in your body language. So that means that you can use that to your advantage. Now, all of our other affirmations that we could use, right? I am rich, I am plentiful, I am evolving, I am graceful, I am calm and intelligent. All of these things have their own different body postures that you could adopt. But confidence is something that it's palpable. You can really tell when somebody is walking down the street feeling confident. And so you can mimic that. When you're standing in that bathroom, looking in that mirror, you can roll your shoulders back and down. You can put your hands on your hips. You can open up your legs so that they are standing just a little bit wider than hip width apart. You can pull your chin back and your head slightly up. And then you can recall the last time that you felt confident. Hold that feeling. Open your eyes. Look in the mirror and say, I am confident. Now that's a positive affirmation that works. Sitting there like this, fretting over whether or not you're gonna do a good job and looking in the mirror going, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident, not how a positive affirmation works. And again, you can do this with absolutely anything. You maybe have never been rich. You maybe not ever had an excessive amount of money. So there are going to be times when you have created an affirmation that you don't actually have a memory of feeling that way or having that before. So you look for something that is similar, right? How do you think you would carry yourself if you were rich, if you had lots of money, if you were financially free? How do you think you would feel? Maybe pride is what comes up right? Let's go with that. Certainly there's a time in your life when you have been proud of yourself, proud of somebody else, right? Recall that. Bring in the body posture of being proud and then look in that mirror and say your positive affirmation about being financially free, being wealthy, 
being rich beyond your dreams, whatever it is. So you're always looking to link what it is that you are saying with a feeling you have already had, because that tells your unconscious mind that you already have it. Because your unconscious mind is feeling that feeling, knowing that it has felt this before with the words that you are saying and says, oh yeah, I could definitely do this. I've already done it. Look at me. I am confident. I hope that helps. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video. I want you to go and try this right now with something like, I am confident. And I want you to come on back and write me a comment and let me know how it went. Bless. Mm -hmm.